What's going on YouTube? Now I'm here and I'm back with another banger video. And yes, look, as I see it, today's title and thumbnail, I'm going to be giving y'all the top eight clothing brand owner mistake, top mistakes you guys can make with your clothing brand. I'm basically just going to be explaining them in today's video. If you guys are, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, you know what I'm saying? All my clothing brand owners, make sure y'all get y'all pencil, you know what I'm saying? Y'all paper, make sure to be taking notes. I'm going to be basically just giving y'all free sauce in today's video. 20k subs on the way, you know what I'm saying? Hit that subscribe button. We on a, we about to hit 17k right now, but we on a road to 20k, so hit that subscribe button, you know what I'm saying? And let's get straight into the video. First things first, I'm basically just gonna go over like a list of mistakes that I have written. A lot of people think it's a get rich quick scheme and they do their first drop, they don't sell out 10k, 20k, they don't sell out and they instantly quit because they didn't get rich from it they first drop, bro. No. Clothing brands are not a get rich quick scheme, feel me? It does not take a month to blow up. It does not take two months, it, bro. It is not a get rich quick scheme, bro. This is not like some scam method. It's an actual business. So you actually got to take time. You actually got to learn thing, trial and error. So you guys aren't going to blow up on your first drop, bro. A lot of people think you're going to blow up on your first drop. You can, but very few people blow up on in a little amount of time, bro. Like literally, I'm telling you guys, it's not a get rich quick scheme. It's actually time, work, effort. If you're not really willing to put in the time, Time. If you're not really willing to lose money or you're not really into investing in yourself, then you're honestly not going to win at all. For when I first started my clothing brand, I already knew that it wasn't a get rich quick scheme, which made me, which honestly I feel like helped me a lot because once I, if I knew, I would literally tell my parents that this at the time. I was like, bro, I know this is not a get rich quick scheme. And I know I'm not about to get rich in two months. I, I was literally like, bro, I'm in this for the long run. So that was my mentality when starting my clothing brand. And honestly, that's just what the mentality, mentality you guys should have, bro. Once you start it, just don't quit it bro if you guys keep working you guys keep learning if it blew up i'm gonna be making clothes if it didn't blow up then i'm gonna be making clothes so the end result i'm gonna be making clothes so just make clothes that's what i'm telling you guys it is not a get rich quick scheme bro definitely faster to blow up with a mentor with a mentor they're basically just gonna be teaching you the mistakes the backdoor ends the basically the mistakes that they have went through they're gonna teach you not how to avoid them they're basically gonna help you gain like a faster process so even with a mentor is not a get rich quick scheme if you guys do have a mentor but it does speed up the process faster like you won't be making the same mistakes you will definitely be having a head boost because you're already given the formula you're already given like the lessons that are learned you're getting all of that from the mentor so you don't have to go through all the lessons learned you don't have to go through basically all that there's still going to be lessons throughout the way because once again you're starting a business and that's just with a business no matter what with a mentor it is not going to be as hard as just starting from zero if you, you know what i'm saying you will see success fast like i just said that you're going to be getting all their access to their stuff other than a mentor bro it's not a get rich quick scheme like it's not like some method you could hit up telegram hit me up for the clothing brand method no bro you're gonna fail you're gonna get back up you got that's just the whole thing about a business bro you gotta fail get back up fail get back up and you learn from those mistakes so yeah that's the first mistake a lot of people make is literally i seen it firsthand bro think is a get rich quick scheme they make their product they okay they watch a few videos okay okay i'm downloading all the shopify apps you know what i'm saying they do it they think they're doing everything right you could do everything right and it still flop they like okay i'm following the method i'm doing this i'm doing that i'm doing it every single day and it not work bro it's not a get rich quick scheme bro you gotta learn from your mistakes literally that's just the whole thing with a mentor is they're gonna you know what i'm saying walk you through the whole process that you don't have to walk by yourself they're just gonna hold your hand through the whole process so yeah if you're watching these videos and you like okay i'm finna start my clothing brand it's not a get rich quick scheme bro don't start if you just finna be like okay i'm finna drop my first job finna go viral you should obviously have that mindset of wanting to blow up and wanting to get viral drops but bro it is not a get rich quick scheme and there's gonna be times where you fail bro and if you don't actually like what you're doing when you fail you're gonna just want to quit so actually do it if you guys like having clothing brands if you guys like making clothes that's why i say it's really easier to do something that you love doing if you love doing it then it's not gonna have a problem with doing it that's the whole thing we want to do here bro make money with your hobbies and make money with your passion because that's the whole point of life bro make money with your passion bro well that's at least how i see it just basically have realistic expectations for yourself with me i came into this to the game thinking long term i was all good mentally because i'm like bro i'm not gonna quit I'm just gonna keep doing this month by month and realistically if you do anything for a year straight you're gonna see results no matter what for the second mistake clothing brand owners make is the lack of market research and what that basically means is the lack of research they're doing with their clothing brand finding your target audience and basically hide some market to that target audience a lot of people will come into the clothing brand and start just making random clothes with no sort of direction or starting a clothing brand you have to think who is your target audience and this is where the market research goes to who is your target audience what type of clothes are you gonna make is the type of clothes you make 
making even fit your target audience this is all just research you guys need to do with your clothing brand a lot of people will just start their brand just starting from zero but no you need to find your target audience you need to find your niche once you find your niche or what type of clothes you want to create and who you actually are going to be selling to be marketing to your target audience is a crucial role in your clothing brand because that's who's going to be buying your clothes so do the research think who is actually going to be buying my clothes who do i want to market to what type of clothes do i want to design that just goes whole with brand identity like you're not going to be putting streetwear clothing on people that like to wear emo clothes or just basically just that that's just a good example to give you I really know who you're selling to you want to sell streetwear to streetwear people like you don't want to be marketing this way when your target audience likes marketing this way if you guys are starting out make sure you do your research who you're selling to what your brand identity is what niche you want to sell into that will help you a lot when marketing another mistake clothing brand owners make when you're first starting out is bad pricing they're starting out with 80 to 100 dollars hoodies bro this is kind of goes under finding who your niche is to and finding like who you're actually selling to because you could actually get away with selling a 70 dollars 80 dollars hoodie you guys are just starting out bro do not be pricing your stuff 80 dollars 90 dollars bro just for some regular hoodie obviously if you guys are in the niche of like targeting fashion people and people that actually like to fashion like atlanta streetwear people that like actually putting high quality pieces on like if your hoodie is 50 dollars then okay you could price it at 80 you price it, price it at 70 like if it's 50 dollars to make that's because of who you're targeting to whoever you're targeting to they only price it at 80 dollars if your target audience will willingly be able to buy that hoodie for $80. I'm going to give you a good example. My boy Melo, he just dropped these zip ups. This is his first ever drop. And I'm pretty sure, I'm not sure how much he did. He did probably, he did way over a thousand. But it was his first ever drop and he was charging $70, $80 for it. And that's because his hoodie is a high quality piece that is for a specific type of group that would pay that kind of price. People that like his zip up, they really don't care about the price. They literally just want to look good with They just want to have pieces. And his piece is so good and it had like the little stones on it. So it cost a lot of make but he's still selling it for 80 90 dollars and it has like these crystals on it that people want to wear and people actually want to put on outfits too nobody is going to be charging let's say 80 dollars 90 dollars this is my this is my hoodie but i priced this at 58 dollars which is really a great price at that time because this is a manufacturer and that's kind of like like the original price for hoodies is 58 dollars but hoodie i would not price this hoodie at 80 dollars 90 dollars or at least into the future once your brand actually goes higher in value that's what i say when you people are first starting out the mistake that they make is they sell like a simple tee like this they will sell this tee for like 50 dollars 60 dollars like bro no because one you're not an established brand people do not know what your brand is and people are, are not gonna want that product that much because nobody knows about this brand basically just find that balance between being affordable and being profitable the next mistake that we're going to be going over is choosing the wrong manufacturer you guys want to make sure you guys have the perfect manufacturer for your clothing brand whether it is the manufacturer most affordable the manufacturer with the best quality you guys just basically want to be weighing out your options feel me whether you go to china whether you go to pakistan there's a lot of clothing brands that actually just take the easy way out of this and if you guys don't want to have no problems with no manufacturer with finding a perfect manufacturer for y'all Y'all could literally just get it from a mentor, feel me? If you guys could literally get it to, from a clothing brand owner, you guys could pay for a mentor. A lot of people pay for a mentor just so they could get their manufacturer so they don't have to spend thousands of dollars on hoodies. But trust me, you guys do not want to be working with a trash manufacturer that's sending you trash pieces all the time, that's sending you low quality pieces all the time because that could actually lead into you losing money, bro. Having a good relationship with your manufacturer is key, bro, because they're the one that's actually making your pieces and the one that's bringing your clothing to life. They're, they're the ones that's sending you products basically like like the heart of your clothing brand so you guys want to have a good relationship with your manufacturer if you guys are just starting out then i would say make sure you guys find a good a really good manu a manufacturer from pakistan because pakistan manufacturers they're cheap they're faster at shipping but they're just not the same as china because china has way better quality than pakistan like that's why i say make sure you guys find a great manufacturer from pakistan bro because pakistan they be crazy bro i'm telling you guys they will literally if you guys order one sample from pakistan they will literally use that one sample they will get the best quality for that sample they will use their best fabric use the best everything for that sample but when it's time to order the bulk they will literally go to the flea market and order the lowest quality hoodies the lowest quality fabrics ever bro i'm telling you guys that stuff is real bro i've had pieces from pakistan that the sample quality is sample fabric is way better than the bulk fabric because what they would do is since they're so cheap and that's why i really don't recommend people going to pakistan but some people do just because their prices are low and the shipping times is low which they definitely are i'm not gonna lie china and pakistan are two completely different prices bro
I'm telling y'all. Especially if you have a good relationship with Pakistan. That's why I tell everybody, make sure you guys find a good, if you're working with Pakistan, it has to be one of the best Pakistan manufacturers. Actually do your research around that manufacturer. Ask other clothing brands about that manufacturer because Pakistan, they will do you crazy, bro. They will do you bad. They can scam you. It's not like it's Alibaba where you could get your money back, you get your refund. No, you literally have to wire the money, which is non-refundable, by the way. So it's not like Alibaba where you could get your refund, get your, no. But only use a Pakistan manufacturer, I would say, is if you know for sure. Like, let's say your friend is a clothing brand owner and they use Pakistan, then use that one. They ask clothing brand owners, you could sell them the manufacturer, but you guys can't ask the clothing brand for the manufacturer if they're not some type of big clothing brand, but, and they will sell it to you. Like with me, I only give my manufacturer to my mentee, so you guys have to be in my one-on-one -on -one mentorship to actually get my manufacturer. So if you guys want that and you guys don't want to be wasting your time on spending money on wasting samples, also, make sure you guys always order samples. A lot of people, this might seem like common sense, but a lot of people don't actually do it. Make sure you're ordering samples with your manufacturer before you get the bulk. Don't just spend the money on the bulk unless you know their quality is good. But then again, like you want to see the piece, like the first time samples, so you don't want to spend money a lot of money on that that's what a lot of people be getting confused about is like do i have to buy bulk well i would suggest this get a sample and then buy the bulk will actually work with your manufacturer on perfecting the piece i know it seems like common sense but a lot of people don't be doing that and they just be getting it they be ordering bulk and then getting mad at the manufacturer bro the manufacturer is not going to go out their way to make your product good bro you have to literally send your manufacturer you have to be on top of your manufacturer you have to send your manufacturer photos of your hoodie you got to literally explain it to your manufacturer step by step by step Put it on photo, make your tech pack. This goes into the making a tech pack too as well. Make sure your idea is explained to them thoroughly because they're not gonna go above and beyond for it, bro. A lot of people get mad at manufacturers because they didn't. They were like, oh, why didn't you do this? Why didn't you do that? But you ain't even tell them. Basically, I just wanted to say, bro, that if you guys are thinking about starting y'all clothing brand, bro, just do it, bro. Like the mistake, the one mistake a lot of people do make with y'all clothing brand, bro, is just basically overthinking, bro, having a bad mental going into it. Just start your clothing brand, bro. Literally just see where it takes you. If you wake up every single day and work with your clothing brand for a year if you guys actually put in a, if you guys actually put in the hard work there's no way you guys could fail with starting a clothing brand bro that's what i literally tell everybody if i could do it if i started my clothing brand at 15 years old with no money and basically no job no no job whatsoever i was literally just a graphic designer if i could do it bro then anybody could do it literally just start bro the one hardest thing to do in life with the two and to do it with anything is starting. So I'm literally just telling y'all, bro, just to start. No matter how many mistakes you make, just start. Just continue to go, bro. Literally work with your brand every single day. Because if you work every single day and you're literally working, even though if you don't want to work on your brand every day, if you could go up and work a job, if you could go up and clocking for another person for your boss and you can't work on yourself and you can't work for yourself and literally what are you doing bro you need to rethink your whole life bro everything is all mental bro it's mental and actually doing the work bro actually just put in the hard work have a good mental going into it bro you know what i'm saying don't be being yourself over it don't be overthinking it bro it's literally as simple as you make it literally you could learn everything if i'm in this position you guys could be in this position bro literally i'm telling you guys people are dead crazy rich bro if people are rich everybody started from zero bro if you have that so literally if you ha if you have that mindset everybody started from somewhere there's literally no way you could fail if you wake up every single day work with your brand even when nobody's looking bro the moments of when nobody's looking that's the moments that really count for us that with that being said you no know i'm saying just literally just lock in with y'all clothing brand if you guys do want to scale your clothing brands with me do have a mentorship so i mean i'm scaling y'all clothing brands to five to six figures if you guys do want to apply to get a spot save a spot for yourself you know what i'm saying hit the link down below only like four to three spots left not that many spots that we do have a lot of people that have joined up if you guys are looking to scale your clothing brands with me you know i did it at 15 i'm literally just gonna go ahead and help y'all give y'all all the knowledge that i know one-on-one -on -one access to me y'all see this phone right here i get one-on-one -on -one access to me i actually got a call a one-on-one -on -one session today uh one of my mentees i'm gonna literally help them how to design i'm gonna be doing a one-on-one -on -one call with them later on today it's just one-on-one, -on -one. it's going to be me and him. I'm just going to be helping him basically how to design for his next drop. Basically going to be teaching him how I design and how to actually design and all that. Like if you guys need help with me one-on-one, -on -one, literally hit the link down below. You guys can fill out. Even though if you fill out and go through the process with my team, that doesn't mean you guys are going to be picked. Only people that are serious about their brand is going to be picked. Only a select people are going to be picked out of the 10 spots. So link down below if you guys want to scale your clothing brand with me. Like I said, y'all get my manufacturers, graphic designers, all that little stuff. So just to show y'all, I'm not capping about all this film. Me. It is currently july 5th as i'm recording this we have made seven thousand dollars in sales so i've been making
making over ten thousand dollars every single month since I've started my clothing since since literally last last August. I've always made plus ten k plus every single month. Y'all can see it's August first to August fifth, and we have made seven k already this month. And a good part about this is all the orders from this month are print on demand, meaning I don't have to touch any of these orders. So y'all see these two hundred orders? Y'all see that? I don't have to touch any of that. That's all getting all of that is literally automated for me. I don't have to ship them. I don't have to pack them. I don't have to do none of that. I have literally a whole team that's separate just for print on demand with these tees. So hit the link down below if you guys do want to scale your clothing brand with me. That's gonna be the end of today's video. You know what I'm saying? Keep your mind up. My first ever month doing my clothing brand, I made three hundred dollars, bro. Three hundred dollars, and I'm gonna show y'all this. That year, I started August. The next year, we literally did over three hundred thousand dollars. That's just motivation for y'all. I usually don't do this, but I'm gonna just be transparent in this video, just to show y'all that mistakes do happen, bro. You do learn mistakes throughout the way, and just to don't quit. And it's all a mental game, bro. Tell y'all. It's just all mental. If you're genuinely working, you good. Go come to you. Just gotta waste your time. If you guys do want to stay tuned in my journey and my life, that like button, subscribe. You know what I'm saying? We posting every other day. I'm gonna be consistent for y'all. I know y'all see the video today. Saying hit that like button, subscribe. Catch y'all in the next one. Your steppers need to start present pills to live up to their title. I'm Simon Cow to these niggas on American Idol. I hit Givenchy all black playing scrubs on vinyl. Had a black girl at 18, somebody go ask Nigel. I scraped my Tesla the other week, I blamed it on Queen Nigel. X marks the spot that need to buy a metal detector. I'm with the five star gang, I'm finna call Lester.